Okay, so looking through my scrap metal pile, I do have this 10 inch saw blade that I had on my table saw, but I replaced it. And I have this old one. I can't even tell you how old it is. So, a lot of requests have been coming in for a Batarang. Now the question is, which one do we make? I am gonna go with this one. This is from the 1989 movie with Michael Keaton. I think this is the coolest one. I was gonna use the 1960s one with Adam West as Batman, but I really like the way this one looks. This is the prop replica. It's seven inches wide and five inches tall from tip to tip. So this is accurate for the replicators out there. And it showed up at first time on the rooftop when he was subduing the uh, the criminals, right? And he whipped it out. He unfolded it because it's, it's able to be folded. But if we're gonna throw it and actually use it, uh, we can't throw it. There are clips in the movie that show close-ups, which I'll put right now. See that? So that right there, it was a one solid piece without the hinge in the middle. So I don't feel bad making that one. We're gonna get this tape down and then we're gonna trace our outline. All right, let's get this cut out. I think I'm gonna use the bandsaw. But first, we're gonna cut as much out with the angle grinder as we can, because we're gonna retemper it anyway. All right, we got a nice roughed out outline. We're gonna go in and clean it up some more with the bandsaw, and then we'll get onto the two by 72 grinder, and clean it up even more. So I went back through and redid the outline because handling it and cutting it and all that can wear it off. So I want to keep it crisp and now we're gonna grind up to those lines. Okay, I'm happy with that shape. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna engrave the lines. So let's get them drawn up and then we'll use a different bit on our, on our Dremel to get those lines in there. sand it with 120 before we paint because we're going to paint it flat black after this.
All right, we're almost there. So we got to sand it up. I'm gonna mask off the, uh, so the tips, the tips are, see how it's like at an angle right here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go like this. Like that. Whoop. And we're gonna mask that off. Right. Oh, a little more. For when we spray paint. So we're gonna paint it flat black. And then uh we'll be just about done. So let's get that done. Make sure that lines up, right? There. Perfect. Okay, I got flat black protected enamel. We're gonna put a coat on and then flip it and do the other side. Make sure it's nice and even. All right. We'll let that dry, flip it, and do the other side. Everything takes so long to dry when it's cold outside. <laughs> That's just cool. I like that. That looks awesome. I might have to clear coat it to keep it shiny looking. We'll see. Okay, we're all dry now. I don't mind the noise. Puppies in here, popping and playing with balls. So, let's take this off and see what we're looking like. So we're left with a nice crisp, crisp line. Actually, I might come in with a razor blade afterwards. I'd say that's uh, pretty close. So, hang on, I gotta do something with this dog. He's going bananas. Do it, do it, do it. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> okay, so the plan here is to get this distressed look. So I got some 220 and I got some 600. I'm just going to try to make it look more like this. So we'll see how it comes out. And if we screw it all up, we could always paint it again. Now we're getting somewhere. Okay, this is what we got. So this is the template we started with. And then this is what we wound up with. Uh, I have been throwing it around a lot, but it's two degrees outside, so it's freezing right now. It's supposed to warm up to 20 here in a little while, but uh, this is an old saw blade turned into a batarang. I'm gonna be doing all the other versions of batarangs that I possibly can, so don't forget to subscribe and come check that out because it's gonna be a lot of fun. Okay, later.